But that's not the only act of gun violence in Portsmouth leaving families concerned. A beautiful, warm fall afternoon near a playground took a turn when bullets started flying. And police tell us someone fired shots near Churchland Middle School yesterday. No one was hurt, but our Gina Arevalo talked to one parent who saw kids and adults scrambling to take cover. Tom and Anita, the mother tells me it was a terrifying and eye-opening experience about the crime that's happening in the city. We just took cover. Some parents got on the ground on top of their children. A lot of parents um, headed to the woods with their children. That's the scene that unfolded at a playground near the middle school Tuesday afternoon. This mother, who asked us not to use her name, says the park was full of people when things changed in an instant. We heard two sounds that sounded like some fireworks and then um, that drew our attention to the parking lot. And we she says there was a short pause and then several more shots went off, sending people scattering. The woman and her two kids ran to the nearby wooded area for safety. And we just awaited until we got a signal that it was clear. It was scary. Um, the kids were looking at us. Um, the parents weren't saying anything. It was like an eerie moment of silence. We spoke with another woman who took cover with her kids in her car. She didn't want to speak on camera, but she tells 10 on your side a couple of vehicles in the parking lot had their windows shot out. The gunfire only lasted seconds, but the mothers say the emotional toll is hard to shake. My middle son voice that he never wants to come back to this park again. Portsmouth Commonwealth Attorney Stephanie Morales addressed the string of shootings on social media and encouraged families to talk with their kids about the value of human life, writing, as our nation turns a corner, so must our community. This mother says what happened was a harsh reality check. She wants to be part of the solution for change. Kids should still be able to come and play. There is work to be done and work can start here with, with me and, and my family and our community. There is a cry for help and there is a need for a response. We're waiting to find out from Portsmouth Police if there are any surveillance cameras that may have captured who fired those shots. If you have any information, call police. Gina Arevalo, 10 on your side.